Thank you for purchasing your AT&T 5G Cell Booster Pro. You are now on your way towards taking your in-building cellular coverage from usually connected to always connected. This video will walk you through device placement, as well as how to register and then set up and activate your Cell Booster Pro. But let's start with finding the best place for your device. When selecting a location for your 5G Cell Booster Pro, you must consider the proximity of the following three things. First is your broadband equipment, which can be a router or switch that you connect to the Cell Booster Pro device using the included 10-foot Ethernet cable. Moreover, make sure your Cell Booster Pro's device signal is unobstructed by walls or other objects. You also need to connect the Cell Booster Pro device to the GPS antenna, which you must mount to an exterior facing window. The included GPS antenna is 33 feet long. If a longer one is needed, an optional 65 foot extension cable is available for purchase from AT&T. And finally, your device needs a nearby AC outlet for power. Don't have a nearby AC outlet? If your local area network supports power over ethernet, you can use the optional power over ethernet splitter available for purchase from AT&T. All right, before finishing the setup and activation of your 5G Cell Booster Pro device, there are a couple of things you need to take care of. First are your security settings on your local area network, which may need to be modified to allow your Cell Booster Pro to activate. Please refer to the 5G Cell Booster Pro product guide for detailed information on what changes might be necessary. Next up is downloading the AT&T Cell Booster Pro Portal app, which is available from the Apple or Google Play Store. Once you have downloaded the app, you can log into the AT&T Cell Booster Portal by inputting the username and password you use to log into and manage your existing wireless accounts. Whether that's AT&T Premier, My AT&T, or FirstNet. If you will be managing your 5G Cell Booster Pro devices and don't have an AT&T login for your company, you can create a new username and password for logging into the Cell Booster Pro portal. Okay, now it's time to register the serial number of your 5G Cell Booster Pro device, which is easy to do using the QR code on the device and the Cell Booster Pro app on your phone or tablet. If you created a new username and password for the portal, or have a My AT&T username and password, tap My AT&T to open the app. And if you are a FirstNet agency customer, please tap FirstNet Agency Paid. And finally, if you are a business customer or FirstNet subscriber using your Premier login, tap Enterprise or FirstNet Subscriber. All right. Now you can register the serial number of your first 5G Cell Booster Pro device. Tap Set up an AT&T Cell Booster Pro. Position your phone or tablet over the QR code on the side of the Cell Booster Pro device. And tap Scan QR code to populate the serial number fields in the portal. Done. Next, as the Cell Booster Pro admin, input your information. And then give your 5G Cell Booster Pro device a nickname. Tap Next to continue. Enter the location address where you are installing the 5G Cell Booster Pro device, and then give your location a nickname. If the information you entered is correct, tap Confirm. After successfully registering the device and service address, you will receive a confirmation email from AT&T that lets you know that your device was successfully registered. If you have other 5G Cell Booster Pro devices you need to register for your location, Return to the portal homepage and tap the nickname of your location. To add another device, tap the plus sign. And like before, scan the QR code on your next Cell Booster Pro device to register its serial numbers. Give the device its own nickname and tap next to register it. Once you've registered all of your devices, you're ready for final setup and service activation, which you can either do yourself or have AT&T's professional installation team take care of for you. Call AT&T's Customer Care Center if you are interested in learning more about professional installation at 800-331-0500. If you've decided to do the final setup and activation on your own, 
Begin by connecting the 5G Cell Booster Pro device to your broadband router or switch. Then, plug the Ethernet cable into the Cell Booster Pro WAN port. Now, plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into your broadband router or switch's 1 gig LAN port. The next step is to mount the GPS antenna on the window pane of an exterior facing window. With this secure, carefully plug the GPS antenna cable into the GPS port of your Cell Booster Pro device. All right, the last step of setup is to connect the power adapter to your Cell Booster Pro device and then plug it into an AC outlet. When you first connect your Cell Booster Pro device to power, you'll notice that the LED lights initially blink orange. However, momentarily, the power light should begin to flash white as the other LED lights turn off. This indicates that your device is being activated. If you look at your Cell Booster Pro Portal app, you should see a message that confirms the successful setup of your 5G Cell Booster Pro device. But keep in mind that it may take up to 90 minutes for your device to activate. Upon service activation, you will receive an email from AT&T confirming that your 5G Cell Booster Pro is active. You may notice that the LED lights on your activated 5G Cell Booster Pro are static and white when no AT&T 4G or 5G devices are connected to it, and blinking when such devices are connected. This is normal. If your Cell Booster Pro fails to activate, or if the LED lights on your device continue flashing or remain orange, you may need to do some troubleshooting. This is not uncommon given the unique way each business configures their gateway. In this situation, the first thing to try is to push the reset button on the back of the Cell Booster Pro device. For further troubleshooting tips, the 5G Cell Booster Pro product guide covers common issues and provides information on the specific meaning and cause of different light combinations. Likewise, if you need any help setting up your device, you can call 877-996-7017 to connect with our dedicated technical support team. And again, thank you for choosing AT&T for your coverage solution.